thanks very much. Um, I mean, the first thing to say, obviously, is as a you know a socialist journalist, you sort of want to be able to report on struggles and report on victories and battles and people fighting back. And unfortunately, um, we don't have enough of that at the minute, really. Um, there isn't enough resistance. You've got the Tories ramming through their austerity, ramming through their job cuts, their pay freezes and so on. And we need a lot more resistance. Um, and so it's absolutely brilliant to be able to come here and report on people that are fighting back. And, you know, to be honest, to see this sort of eight months, I think it is, into the campaign, you know, you're still going strong. I think you're actually getting stronger. Um, and you've won some things and people are determined to carry on. It's absolutely brilliant to come and report on that. And I'm really proud that, you know, our paper has been one of the ones that has supported you um, from the start. Um, I think that you've shown basically that people can fight back. Um, but another thing you've shown, I think, is just how rotten uh, the world we live in is at the minute, which sounds quite a grand statement, but in a small way, you know, this is one of the richest countries in the world, and you've been told that you can no longer have free train travel for disabled people and older people as it was in April. Um, you know, the same way that people have been told we can't afford an NHS, um, we can't afford a pay rise, we can't afford to pay decent pensions or benefits. This is one of the richest countries in the world. Um, it's an absolute disgrace um, that people have been told that up and down Britain at the minute. And what's happened basically is that the politicians are hoping that if they make enough speeches attacking migrants and attacking people who come here searching for a better life, if they go on and on and on about that, then we will just blame them and the politicians will be let off the hook. Um, and I think, you know, obviously to us here, we know that's rubbish. We know that migrants aren't the problem. The problem is the rich. Um, because there's plenty of money in the system. There's plenty of money to pay for the NHS, to pay for free travel, to pay for pensions. The problem is, the rich don't think we should have any. Um, what's happened is we're meant to be in an economic crisis, but not everyone is suffering from that crisis. Well, we're all in it together. The number of billionaires in Britain, it passed the 100 mark for the first time this year. And across the world, the number of billionaires is doubled in the last five years. And that's when we're meant to be in an economic crisis. So we know what the problem is. The problem is the rich. Um, and they don't think that working class people are worth anything. They don't think working class people deserve um, a decent standard of living. And the other thing is, I think they hope that we will just put up with it all because people will think, oh, well, we can't do anything. We don't have any power. We'll just have to swallow it. And that's the other brilliant thing about the Freedom Ride campaign, I think, is that you've said, well, we're not just accepting this. You know, we're not, we're not going to accept the idea there's no money and we can't have things that we've had for years. Um, you've already forced the council back on disabled um, concessions, which is absolutely brilliant. You've got a massive victory here when they couldn't even, you know, they couldn't even go through with the court case. They've got all this evidence. They've obviously put God knows how much money and time resources into it. They couldn't go through with it because it would be so embarrassing for them. It would be so much bad publicity. Um, they were too scared to do it, I think. Um, and I think, you know, you've won these victories. You can win the free travel back for older people as well. Um, and just, you know, lastly, I think, as I say, in a small way, this does show, um, you know, the system we live in really is failing. Um, you know, failing ordinary working class people. I think you've given sort of a glimpse of how we can start to change that and how actually if people get together and organise, they can fight back and they can win things. So congratulations on your victories so far and keep fighting.